Greetings. This is Arvette McLean of Speak the Universe Listens. your thoughts, change your life. Step into the bigness of you. Greetings and welcome to today's episode of Speak the Universe Listens. And today's topic is a simple trick that can change everything. And I have Steven mm-hmm. joining hey. me. And Teron. Hey. How y'all doing? Good. How you doing? <laughs> Good. I'm doing great too. So a simple trick that can change everything. So um, one thing that we sometimes don't realize is that our future is created in the present moment. And so when I started realizing that concept that the future is created in the present moment, it gave new meaning to the phrase um, live for the moment or live in the moment. So when you hear that, what is your thinking in terms of, what do you feel like that means, living in the moment? Um, so, goodness, until, just, until you just said that, <laughs> I used to think like, oh, you know, just that's when you know you take your carefree moments like all right you just do whatever you want to do at that moment but it wasn't until you just said that well, I'm like, oh yeah but yeah <laughs> it's, a little bit more. it's not just that uh for me i, I would just say uh just basically being present you know, mm-hmm. you know just enjoying everything um not focusing more on like your your future or tomorrow or the day after that it took me a while to to get to that point, but um, just basically uh, focusing more on the now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and actually, that's two different ways to look at it, and I think mine would even be slightly different, so it would be three different ways, but um, I totally was <laughs> living the moment, hey! <laughs> party, party! <laughs> I think I moved towards what Stephen is saying. It's like um, it's more like being mindful, right? right. Mindfulness, right. Um, seeing, paying attention to what you're doing, how you're doing it, and that type of thing. And then, so mine is like a slight diversion from that, which is to actually be intentional in what you're thinking and doing in the moment, and thinking, doing, and feeling. Feeling being the operative word. Yeah, I can see that being very important because I think when you do start to be more intentional with everything that you're thinking and doing and saying, and like I said, especially feeling, then I think everything around you starts to change and your perspective and your paradigm starts to shift. It, when you become intentional about what you're feeling, like, all right, I want to be happy, I'm intentionally being happy, mm-hmm. now everything else around me is vibrating at a higher level mm-hmm. because I'm intentionally setting this is the standard of this is where I'm operating today. Exactly. You know, I, I'm, uh, every day I'm just like in the mindset of, all right, today we're going to be in the now, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the day is in the now. So just um, every day and following up with uh, tomorrow I'm saying, being in the present moment, mm-hmm. you know, feeling those things. Because to me it's, it's almost like a, it's, it's like a mixture of the, you're living in the now, but your now is, like creating your future, mm-hmm. so it's 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 almost like you know. Mm-hmm. So um, for me, I would say just every day, all I've been doing is focusing on being that individual, mm-hmm. just being it every day, feeling it mm-hmm. every day. So therefore, my surroundings can attract what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. 
So I think um, a lot of times, if we're not intentional, mm -hmm. that we just are in a habit. However, we think whatever our unconscious thinking is, whatever our rituals are, they just kind of take over. And we just act and behave and feel and do, and we don't give any attention to what we think and feeling and doing at that time. It's just kind of like automatic. And then when we look at our future or when the future arrives, it looks very much like today. <laughs> and so it's almost like whatever you're giving your attention to, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're feeling about, that's what you're producing, creating for tomorrow. So the simple trick then is what you both have already said is to be intentional about what am I thinking right now? How am I feeling right now? And to always be in a place where you're changing whatever you're thinking to match what you want your future to be versus what you see around you. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Exactly. I can say there's been plenty of times as to where it's like um, I've been uh, in, a, in a moment and I'm just thinking about that. You know what? I remember when I was thinking about this years ago and now all of a sudden I have it now, you know? So um, I have those uh, moments from time to time, but it just makes me think like, okay, it reminds me of when you're staying in your, in, when you're living in the moment then everything is going to fall in place for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think that trick is also very important because I think it's so easy to fall into just living the routine life. Right. And then you think about, so two reasons actually, because I just other one just popped into my mind. So it's so easy to slip into like just living a routine life, but also when you're intentional about what you're feeling in that moment, it opens up a new horizon for what you see as your future. You now you see dip, like you see different possibilities because you're now focusing your energy and your efforts onto something. It's not just going through the motions. You're being deliberate about everything that you're doing. Therefore, like now you can actually like when you look forward, you can actually see the results that you're working towards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do y'all have any examples of um, times when you have actually? Maybe your your mind is off in a certain direction, mm -hmm. and then you're like, "Oh, nope, <laughs> <laughs> snatch it back, <laughs> break it, break it back." Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, um, like just having that thought of lack, you know, mm -hmm. worry, um, and I think that's just normal, mm -hmm. just for everybody. But um, when it do come along, and mm -hmm. I just get that sense of uh, anxiety, and just you know that feeling, I just have to stop. Like, Hold on, like you know, let's 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 wheel it back in, you know, because I'm worried. I'm so worried about uh, the next day or what's going to happen because I have it on my mind so much. Mm -hmm. And then I just I take take a second or two and it's like, all right, you know, let's 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 get back to the present moment, you know. So yeah, every day I have uh, moments as to where I have to wheel it back in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can sort of similarly relate. Uh, I find myself often, if I'm not conscious about it, I find myself worrying about the distant future and the, like the like close future. It's like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen next week. And then it's like, I don't think about 10 years ahead. And it's like, <laughs> well, if you think about now, right. then we'll be now. Right. And then everything you're doing now is creating your future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I slip into it all the time but the I think the key is catching it catching mm -hmm. it right. catching it catching it catching it right. so if somebody doing something crazy <laughs> you know like my attention is on that mm -hmm. you know like man, why are they doing that like that or they know you know mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 what in the world uh -huh. like oh here it goes again yeah. or, um yeah so I mean, it could it really could be anything like it'll be easy and oh and this is something that is current in right. my life, right? So, um, <laughs> so with the whole, I'm gonna tell you how I ended up gaining a whole bunch of weight, right? right. Me, the spin, send love to your body <laughs> <laughs> in a response. So let me tell you what has happened. So, because I have a belief system that in order to lose weight, you have to eat right, 
and exercise. So that's the belief system that I've had forever. And that's the belief system that, you know, our whole society mm-hmm. kind of has or whatever. But I know from experience that mm-hmm. the way I lost weight was because I started flowing loving energy to my body, right? So I did that. And once I started focusing on sending that loving energy to my body, in three months I had lost more weight than I ever imagined losing, right? Okay, so I, I was good for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, she said, I was good for 10 years. <laughs> and then I, had, I started having these injuries, knee mm-hmm. injuries, uh, torn ligament in my ankle, all this stuff. So this has caused me to not be the exercise. Mm-hmm. So then when I stopped exercising, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna gain weight, I'm gonna gain weight, I'm gonna gain <laughs> Even though I know that that's not mm-hmm. how it works, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna gain weight, I'm gonna gain weight. And so, which I did, I, I gained weight, but then I um, started exercising again, right? right? And so I was able to lose the weight because I released that, mm-hmm. you know. But then COVID happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is. And so, but once COVID happened, my husband, oh, he loves to cook, but he loves cooking like fried <laughs> stuff and, you know, just yeah. he like the goodies, right? So, <laughs> you know him well. And so, you know, I'm eating and eating, but I'm also saying, I'm going to get fat, I'm going to get fat, I'm going right. to get fat, I'm going to get fat. Even though I know it's how am I flowing the energy to my body. Right. But I'm, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, look at that roll. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And so I'm sending all this negative energy. And so what happens? I get fat. <laughs> I get fat. But it's like every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to start a diet starting on Tuesday or whatever. And then I'll eat everything beforehand mm-hmm. for the week beforehand. That week, I'll lose like 10 pounds. The week that you eat and everything? Yeah. Because the energy flow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so, but I guess the point that I'm making is, like, if you're giving your attention to the things that you're used to giving your attention to, right. you're going to create the same things that you've been creating your whole life. And so it's really, I guess, important for us to release groupthink. Mm-hmm. Like, we think like everybody else thinks because we look out into the world and mm-hmm. we'll say, this is the way the world is, and you can ask anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, we want to move away from that. We want to have our own individual thought in the terms of what do you want it to look like versus what does it look like. Mm-hmm. Okay, so being intentional with your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the more intentional you are with your thoughts, then you start to see the things that you always, you know, you want it. But then when you get the things you want, then that makes you get into the mindset of, like, you get more aware of what you're telling yourself, what you're saying. Hey, hold up. I'm, I'm, I've been talking about all the things I don't want, you know, and, and all, okay, now I, now I get in it, you know, now I'm getting it. Yeah. And I think what you just said is super important, the releasing of group think, because, Oh goodness! I always think about every example that we always do together. Uh-huh. I never forget it was one phone call. Uh, we were on and we were talking about like, oh, a lot of people, a lot of people work hard, people work hard, people work. <laughs> and it's just like, well, <laughs> once you start debunking, it's like it's not hard paperwork. But again, like society told us that all a lot of paperwork means it's all hard. And uh-huh. then when you hear things like, oh, so many people quit on it, the group thing comes in again. Like, well, it must be a lot if ain't nobody finishing it. <laughs> but yeah, it. It's what you want it to be. Mm-hmm. So taking it, taking things a step at a time and being deliberate and intentional about everything that you're thinking and doing, it just opens up so many doors. Mm-hmm. Every morning I wake up, I'm like, I'm like an awesome day. <laughs> I, might, I might have an awesome day, but I might have you know, a little turbulence <laughs> in my day. But overall, my day is good, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm determined to have a good day. So. so um, Thinking, feeling, and behaving. So those are things that we have control over, is how we think, how we feel, and how we behave. And so no matter what the situation is out there, we can control what we're feeling. And it's more important that we feel great than anything else in the world. Like the more that we can control, or um, I, don't know, I don't know if the right word is control, but the more that we, um, 
push ourselves or um, will ourselves mm -hmm. to be in a good state of mind, to be happy, to be excited, to be joyful, then we're creating that in our future. Yeah. Yeah, because again, so every time you talk, I just have more like random thoughts that just come splurting out. But yes, because again, I might have said this already, but I just can't stress enough how when you think and are intentional about the present, the future becomes so much broader and like wider to you. So, like an example, I had never been on a yacht before, never thought about getting on a yacht before. I had started changing my thinking way previous before I ever touched that yacht. It was like, all right, I'm feeling better. Everything around me is going well. I want a vacation. I want to do a vacation the way I want to do a vacation with no limits. And so when we went, I felt like I did it with no limits, but it was because my vision was broader. It, the limits was no long, like the no limits wasn't, oh, well, let's get a nice hotel. The no limits was, well, let's do this. And now my thinking is, well, now I want to like do more than that. <laughs> so yes, being intentional about where you are at the moment definitely shapes and creates a brighter future every time. I can say, uh, I remember like the very beginning stages of like when I started my business, I was so nervous because it's like, I knew what I was doing, but in my mind, in my mind, it was just like, all right, you know, I kept second guessing myself when I'm doing something, right? And so I'm just bringing in this, these negative thoughts, this negativity, and I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's just bring it back real quick and just know that you, you value, you know, mm -hmm. know your value. You know what I'm saying? I, I know my value. I know, I'm, I know what I'm capable of. And I just sort of, every time that worry came in my mind, I just thought about that for a second, like, all right. You know you got this. Don't even second guess yourself, you know. And then after that, after everything was done, then I started seeing customers like, yeah, oh, okay, all right, awesome, awesome, you know. So um, that's something that I can say, you know, for me, just in my experience, um, having that uh, worry, you know, and um, just trying to be perfect mm -hmm. and, you know, understanding that, hey, <laughs> you got just you got it. You know you got it. Yeah, so like one of my things that I made up uh -huh. is called catch yourself in act and I talk about this all the time because I do. I have to catch mm -hmm. myself in act right. because it's like you don't even realize just how your mind oh my goodness, especially if you in my head, you just be like um <laughs> 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 yeah, but every time I hear myself thinking off track, I bring it back. And so I think, first of all, it's just amazing to be at a point where you can hear yourself mm -hmm. and notice, like, okay, you ain't even thinking about what you need to be thinking about right now. You all up in his business. You know, like, um, if you know, let's say if you go to the store and it's like nobody is helping you like mm -hmm. and you asking the same question you know and then you start getting frustrated mm -hmm. at these people or whatever and then i have to be like why are you frustrated with these people <laughs> <laughs> you know and so instead of allowing myself to go down that path right. i catch myself because i don't want to create more of that right? right so i catch myself i bring it back and most of the times, just the whole act of saying, why are y'all up in them people's stuff? Mm -hmm. That'll cause me to laugh, for real. But um, if not, then I'll just think of things like, um, mm, this place, they need uh, somebody to come in and create a wonderful program for them. I think I could do that. I can get paid doing this. <laughs> or, or I'll think like, oh, that person must be having a bad day. And mm -hmm. then I'll like send them love mm -hmm. or whatever or or I'll just be like mm, this would be a good show for comedy <laughs> this would be hilarious so but the point is like having different things in your head right. different tools to when things are going awry out mm -hmm. there because it seems like it's out there mm -hmm. right but really it's, it's here mm -hmm. and so just flipping it finding ways to flip it so I call it catching myself in the act bringing myself back <laughs> and then put my thoughts on things that would make me happy, smile, cheerful, um, because that's what I want more of. And you know what's great? I had a, uh, in 
incident uh, this week. Was it? Yeah, yeah, this week. And I, my feelings was like uh, I was dealing with uh, work and a coworker, and um, you know, I, I was sort of upset, but then I had to pause for a second, and then I had to evaluate the whole situation. And then when I stopped and I looked at the whole situation, I had to look at myself and I had to say, well, why are you mad? Mm -hmm. And then put yourself in that person's shoes mm -hmm. to understand where they're coming from. <laughs> so then as I did that, it was like more, okay, all right, all right, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Bringing it back in. I think you just said something that's super important that we talk about a lot, which was putting yourself in their shoes. Right. Because that is, that's making that link that we are all connected. Mm -hmm. And I think the minute we do that, it's always easier to process everything that's happening and everything. Like, usually whatever made you upset, you change the thinking on it, like, almost instantly because it's like, oh, well, I don't think, my, I don't think of myself like that. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Like right. so, I can't think of you. I can't be upset with you, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be upset with myself. So I guess I can't be upset with you. Right. Right. Exactly. And then um, I had heard this the other day, and I thought it was really neat. Um, somebody had asked a question, a question about um, probabilities. Like, this is what's probably going to happen. How do you deal with things that are likely? to happen even though you want it to go this way it's probably going to go that way and um the answer that the the teacher gave i was like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> because they were like um it's really no such thing as probabilities um they're like probability is the way you've been thinking the way you've been feeling and the way you've been behaving so if you've been thinking feeling and behaving in this certain way then you're going to probably get this mm -hmm. result. But at wow. any time, you can change how you think, feel, and behave, and then your probability will shift as well. Mm, I like that. Yeah. I do. I like that. It sounds like almost like prob your probability is your path, So, it, and your thinking. So the way that you think is determining where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just want to reiterate, so the thing that we can do right now to change our future is to be present right now and to make sure that however we're vibrating, however we're feeling, that it's as high as possible. We're gonna keep that vibration as high as possible. Right. We wanna always, it's, it's a practice, right? It is. It's a practice and so being aware of the thoughts that you're having, but it's more important that you feel good than anything else. So you always wanna make sure you feel as great as you can possibly feel. Whatever things you you um, are focused on, you want to ask yourself, do I want more of this in the future? Do I want more of this in the future? Because however we're being right now, that's what we're going to get. It's almost like karma mm -hmm. in the present karma. moment. Karma is happening. So however you are radiating right now, you're radiating that out to the world and you're going to get more of that. So I said, I, I always catch myself and, and my feelings and my emotions <laughs> and just making sure that, you know, I'm happy and I'm vibrating mm -hmm. and I desire to be vibrating, which is high. <laughs> <laughs> which is high. Yes. And the practice that I did years and years ago, and I know you guys have heard <coughs> talk about it a lot of times, is that egg timer. Mm -hmm. um, just setting that alarm to come ring at random samples and when that long alarm comes on what am I thinking about right now and then yeah it's eye opening <laughs> <laughs> it's eye opening but really to cause yourself to be aware of what am I thinking right now and if it's not something that you want more of it's easy just change your thought think of something better think of something funny think of something you know, loving, um, appreciate something, anything like that. But if you just can feel good right now, um, be aware that our future is being created in this present moment, then you realize that everything you do right now to elevate yourself is exactly what's needed to create that life that you really love. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, this is Arvette.